if x, y, and k are positive numbers such that, and then we have this long expression for k, and if x is less than y, which of the following could be the value of k? So in order to get some insight here, we have to wrestle with the algebra a little bit. So what I'm going to do, I notice that I have an x in the numerator. If I could get an x plus y in the numerator, that would cancel the denominator. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to split this second fraction, the second expression, into 10 times that thing, and then separately another 10 times that thing. The reason I'm going to do that is so that I can combine these first two. They're both multiplied by 10 now. So now it's just common denominator. It allows me to add the numerators, and I get x plus y over x plus y times 10 times this second expression. Well, in the first expression, things cancel. So I get 10 plus fraction y over x plus y times 10. Well, a few things to notice. First of all, k has to be bigger than 10, because it's 10 plus a positive number, so it can't be 10. Second of all, this fraction has to be less than 1, because there's no way that y can be bigger than x plus y, because x is a positive number. So in other words, we know that k has to be between 10, has to be bigger than 10, smaller than 20. So we've narrowed it down a little bit. Now let's think a little bit more. We have to use this fact that x is in fact less than y. So let's suppose for a second that x equaled y. Now that's not possible under the scenario, but if x equaled y, then what we'd have essentially is x over x plus x, x over 2x, which is 1 half. If x and y are equal, then y over x plus y equals 1 half. Well, now if we impose the constraint that x is less than y, then essentially what I've done is I've come along and I've made the denominator smaller. When you make the denominator smaller, you make the fraction bigger. And so what this means is we must have made the fraction, it was 1 half when x equaled y, but when we make x less than y, it must get greater than 1 half. And so this fraction here, it must be greater than 1 half and less than 1. And so that means that when we multiply it by 10, we get a number greater than 5 and less than 10. When we add 10, we get a number that is greater than 15 and less than 20. And the only number on the list that satisfies that is 18, which is answer choice D.